Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of their favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. So we're back with one of our special segments. We call them Tech Tuesdays, and we're back with the CR6 Creality 3D printer. Um, today we're going to be talking about the other accessory component where the filament does stick, has some issues, and these were a couple questions in the comments that uh, we had had in uh, past videos. Make sure you do like and subscribe to these videos so you'll get notifications on whenever you know any videos are coming out that you may have questions on. And we'll keep trying to put uh, as many of these videos out as we get comments from you guys or emails from you guys on uh, some of the things that you're stuck on or having issues with. So this is the filament uh, feed tube. And this is actually um, from Creality, and again, um, this is just something we picked up from them directly. And this is a protective uh, feed tube that actually feeds through your 3D printer um, all the way into the head itself. So we have found that the filament, uh, and we talked about it in past videos where it gets plugged down in the tip, but there's also the case here where it gets plugged when it gets down into the tip, it will actually plug up and you'll see here at the end of the plastic, it'll get start over time by heavy use on your printer, you will get some of the residual plastic that had melted inside of there, even though it's supposed to fit tight and snug in there, it will start to move around and then you'll get some filament in between here. And what happens is it balls up. So this is part of the maintenance kind of deal. You will always want to make sure and, um, you know, clean all that out. And we'll go over here to the next picture and I'll show you on the next one um, where you kind of want to pull that out and clean it out. OK, so we're on the next uh, picture of the uh, where the filament actually goes down through into the tube. And as it goes down through into here, into your heater, um, it's down below and there's a little um, casing around in there, which I'll show you here that once this cover is removed with the two screws, you'll see the casing that's right here. You'll just, of course, want to take this little hold tab off, pull that off, and then there's two little notches here you'll take either a wrench or something like that make sure this is a key step so you'll still want to have it uh, you know so it's heated so it's it's really hot so that way nothing's drying up down in there when you're cleaning it out because this this actually does help you um, when it's heated so you again of course you take this component off it just is a little snap ring you pull that out and then you'll take a wrench and you will unscrew this it's more or less like a cover uh, where the tube itself goes into. Uh, once you do unscrew that, you can unscrew that, pull that up through the tube and the tube will literally pull right out. So once you pull that out, you'll see the affected area. It's usually black where it has a bunch of balled up uh, filament at the end. Uh, go about an eighth inch above the affected area, cut it off, make sure it's cut straight flat, smooth. So if you have some crimps, most of the time in your toolkits, they'll give you some um, cutters that will cut this flush. And so cut that flush and then feed it right back down into the head itself, push it back down in there and then rescrew and readjust and put everything back in and then feed your filament back through. And again, make sure when you're doing that, uh, it's already on that preheat setting, fill, uh, put it back through and it should be fine. Um, now they do have these, um, little extender, uh, filament extenders. It's basically the same thing. It's just a different style of housing that screws down inside of there. And we have found sometimes these just get bulky and get in the way and just, I don't know. I don't, I don't really like them. So, I mean, they, they do the same purpose, but we've had some questions about that. So I figured I'd mention that, but there are, uh, other accessories that are upgrades. So you can, you know, upgrade that, uh, I guess, maybe if you're printing a lot and a lot of people like these because they're easier to unscrew and they come out a lot easier. Um, but that's why But we don't usually run into this problem a whole lot, no matter how much you print um, on our end. It doesn't doesn't affect us. So we hope this video helps you on your end of the filament issue. If this was uh, one of the topics that would help with the filament, if not, be watching out for others and we'll keep putting out more.